So we're here today, this is Friday, November 11th, and uh, we're here at 24th 3rd Avenue. This is the new rec center, the building that we've been renovating and that served as a, uh, a youth rec facility during the summer for our summer rec program. And now we have the western half of this building has been remodeled and refurbished to be the Code Blue Shelter for this year. Um, and this is uh, for the first time our Code Blue Shelter will actually be open consistently from November 14th to the middle of April every night. Um, this is a major, major step forward. Uh, to provide shelter for those who may need it in the wintertime. Uh, a code blue, just so everybody knows, is emergency shelter and housing for people who don't have that in the wintertime, in t times when it's cold and it's dangerous to be outside. But it will be open every night, whether it's above 32 degrees or below 32 degrees for those times. Hi, I'm Stephanie Wilkinson. I'm going to be the lead supervisor here at the Gloversville Code Blue this season. Hi, I'm Diane Ma, and I'm the assistant lead at the shelter. And we open on Monday at 5 o'clock. We're so excited to have a place to care for our homeless. Yeah, we're, we're all staffed and ready to go. The building is pretty much all set up, ready to hit the ground running and start making a difference. We're just really excited to be a part of it. Hi, I'm Reverend Lori Garamone, and I am the rector of St. John's Church in Johnstown, New York. And I am so excited to see the work that's been done and to know that this Code Blue shelter is open here in Gloversville because just in the past few weeks, I have been helping people who have no place to stay at night. Um, I've had calls from people who just need to take a shower, people who need to wash their clothes, and I've been saying November 14th is gonna be the day. Now I have, in the meantime, provided for them, but this is exactly the place we want people to come because they're going to get a hot meal. They're gonna be able to sleep in a safe and protected and warm environment in the winter time. Um, they're gonna be able to get additional helps as organizations around us are able to help when they let people know what's going on in their lives. I, I really wanna thank the Fulton County Board of Supervisors for giving us the green light to, uh, to apply for funding for this because the funding had to be applied for by Department of Social Services, which is a county agency. I really wanna also thank our Department of Social Services. Most of the renovations of this building, uh, really hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of work have been done by uh, our DPW employees. Um, I really wanna thank um, our DPW director, Don Schwartz. Uh, he has really uh, stepped up for the city and, uh, and for this program. Hi, my name is Janine Robitaille. I'm the executive director of IPH, which is based in Albany. Uh, we are here today with this grand opening of uh, a Code Blue Shelter in Gloversville, and we are just really excited to be a part of it. Uh, we're honored to be asked to help administer and bring our expertise to the table um, as we run a shelter also in uh, Amsterdam and a few in, in Albany. Interfaith, uh, our real, our goal is to really provide supportive services to the people that come through our doors. We are not a hot in a cot, uh, so to say. We really are embarking on ma making people, or uh, providing, I guess, uh, opportunities for people to do better, uh, to actually get some help, to do some case management, provide some support. And at the end of the day, it's building relationships. Building relationships with people who have nobody, don't know how to get out of the situations they're in and need help and guidance and support and someone who actually cares about them. Um, and that's us. We care and we want people to be their best selves. I'd just like to take a moment to thank everybody who came out today to the open house um, to check out the improvements that we had here to the building. I would like to give a thank you to Dunkin' Donuts and the Happy Mug who both donated items to the open house today. I would also like to give a special shout out to Price Chopper, Century Linen, and Benjamin Moores for their donations to the center as well. Um, we get a lot of requests for what can be donated to the shelter and what we need. Thanks to the generosity of our residents and our community over the past couple years, we are pretty fully stocked here in equipment. Um, what we are asking for now for those that would like to donate is monetary donations. That way we can buy any supplies that come up, we can keep the program running. Um, so if you're interested in making a monetary donation to the Code Blue Shelter, you can 
make a check payable to the Commissioner of Finance, send it to City Hall at 3 Frontage Road, put it in the memo line that it's for the Code Blue Shelter, and we'll make sure that that money is allocated for this program. Um, we do have a small list of item donations that we're accepting. If you would like to donate items, we are looking for any kind of disposable kitchen equipment, plates, napkins, silverware. We can always use new in the package undergarments for men and women. And um, we can use toiletry items, individual toiletry items. Those are always appreciated and we do go through those quickly. Again, thank you to everybody that made this possible and everybody who attended the open house today. Thank you very much.